in summarizing testing for whether or not a rate law is first order or second order, we could see a table like the following, where we're given time, that could be seconds or minutes, and we're given different concentrations of a reactant A. So this would be A naught, the initial concentration, and after one second, this would be the concentration, after two seconds, that would be the concentration. So to test for first order, to see if the rate is equal to the rate constant times a to the first power, the equation below has to be linear. So in order to test and see if the first order instantaneous equation is linear, we're going to graph these points uh, or put them in the statistic function to test to see if we get a linear equation. So L1 is going to be our times, so 0, 1, 2, and 3 would be L1. And since the natural log of the concentration is in the place of our y axis, for L2 we are not going to plug in the concentrations, but instead we plug in the natural log of those concentrations. If we could look at the graph, Again, the natural log of the concentration versus time would end up being linear if the data was indeed first order. And so the line of best fit, according to the TI calculator, would be y equals ax plus b. And the r square value needs to be at least 0.99 in order to be a linear equation. And the slope, if we get this on the calculator, A is going to be given and B is going to be given. So A is the slope of the line. And so the slope of the line correlates to the rate constant K. So since A is equal to the opposite of the rate constant, that means the rate constant, A, is going to be the opposite of the slope that's given. And the data will always look like this, so the slope is always going to be a negative number. And because that's what a negative slope looks like, so K is always going to be the opposite of a negative value. So K will always be a positive value, so this would be the number that was given. And if it is indeed a first order equation, then we know we can use this instantaneous equation to find out any concentration at any time t. And if we do have a first order equation, again, the half-life would be uh, 0.693 divided by k. And that comes from the natural log of 1 half. If we take the natural log of a half, we're going to get negative 0.693. So we could rearrange these equations when half of what we started with is remaining, and we rearrange the equation, uh, that 693 really comes from the natural log of a half. If we get r squared, if r squared is not equal to 0.99, or better, we could actually equal 1. That would be perfect data. That means every point would actually be on the line. Then we'll test for second order. And the second order instantaneous equation is 1 over the concentration at any time t equals positive kt plus 1 over the initial concentration. So on our data, with time uh, 0, 1, 2, and 3, and our a values given, a naught, a at the first time, a at the second time, a at the third time, we're going to not use the natural log to test, but we're going to L1 is still going to be times 0, 1, 2, and 3, because that's always going to be 
the uh, dependent variable. We're going to let well, we'll let time vary. We'll be independent, and then L2 we're going to take one over the concentrations that are given. So one divided by a at time one would go with point one. 1 over a at point 2 and 1 over a at point 3. You could also plug in the value given and hit your x to the minus 1 key if you want to save a keystroke. That will take the reciprocal of that value. So if we graph this 1 over the concentration, look at this equation. This is in place of our y. So this is also a y equals ax plus b. This is a linear equation that we would get from second order kinetics. So this graph will end up having a positive slope. And the r square value, if it is linear, is going to be at least 0.99. And here, a is exactly equal to k. So when we're trying to solve for our rate constant, since the slope of the line is positive, and we look back at the equation, the slope is equal to the k value, so we don't have to worry about a sign change. And then I'll squeeze this in somewhere. If we do have second order, if r squared is at least 0.99, then the reaction is second order. That means rate equals K times the concentration of A squared. And our half-life, I'll stick over here, I guess, T one-half would be one over the rate constant times the initial concentration. So this half-life, one over A, goes with this equation, one over A, and that always comes from a second-order rate law which would have this form.